Hey, today at the Silverwood Chestnut Orchard, the robots are taking over. So stick around and let's talk about this little machine. Several videos ago, I uh, mentioned that I had mapped the orchards and located the GPS location of every tree in the orchard. One of the reasons I was doing that is for the creation of a robot lawnmower. What I needed to do is go up and down the tree rows getting next to the trees so that I don't have to get the big mowers next to it. And it will save time. It'll continually be out there keeping the grass low. And then there's also possible other uses for this thing. So let's continue on and uh, I'll show you kind of the build process and what the machine looks like. Now this is not going to be a uh, how to build this thing video. This is just kind of a description of what I'm doing and uh, what the project looks like and hopefully how it performs. A lot of the inspiration from this came from a gentleman's channel, Nathan Builds DIY, which I'll put a link to in the uh, description of the video. It's a good channel if you want to learn how to build something yourself like this. He's got excellent descriptions and instructions on how to do it. Now this is a project that I'd thought of for quite a while and uh, until I saw this video I kind of didn't get inspired to actually follow through on it, but uh, here we go. What I've always wanted is something that will come out and mow the grass around the trees on a consistent basis, keeping the grass around the trees short. That'll help keep pests down. Also during harvest time the chestnuts are harvested off the ground so that when it comes time for harvesting, the grass around the trees is short. Also, if I've got something out there mowing from basically the tree trunk out about six feet, then the center portion of the tree rows, I can just grab and mow with the big gang mower and make mowing so much quicker. So that's kind of what I was thinking about behind this. And after multiple days of drilling, grinding, and welding, this is what came out. I've got a 40 volt electric cobalt lawnmower suspended in a metal frame. I've got drive wheels on the back, casting wheels on the front, so it's basically a skid steer. I've got two geared brushed DC motors chain driving the rear wheels for independent steering and power. And the original cobalt mower is suspended in such a way that its original height adjustment mechanism still works. Now, to finish off the electronics portion. It's going to be up here is the brains of the system. GPS with an Arduipilot orange cube controller. Uh, telemetry. Power source for the controller. Here's the uh, main battery pack for the mower. And the uh, motors on the lawnmower. Got a battery disconnect switch, overcurrent fuse, and that is the motor controller for my two brushed DC motors, which are right there. With everything hooked up, it was time to take it for a test drive. Right now it's under RC control, radio controlled, and not autonomously operating. So a couple tests maneuvers in the safety of the garage and if she performs okay we'll send it outside. I do have to uh, apologize for the voiceovers and not the narration on the show on this video today. Uh, although I do have solar power in my pole barn it's really just enough to run the lights and a couple small hand tools not for running cutting grinding or welding equipment so I've got to have the generator running. Well, the inside test went well, so I'm going to take it outside. Unfortunately, this is where I run into problems. My uh, chain drive mechanisms keep slipping chains, and so she went about 10 more feet, and the chains fell off. This is a problem that needs to be solved. So, back to the shop. Those darn, oh man, I've got mad scientists here today. That's not good. Those darn chains keep popping off, so... Time to uh, see if I can reposition those motors to try and make it work a little bit better. So back to the uh, welding and grinding and drilling 
I'm sorry I didn't uh, provide a photo of what the finished product looks like, but uh, I basically mounted the motors to the back wall of the device so that uh, now they don't twist when the chains are under tension. Anyways, with all that work done, it was time to head back out and put this thing in the field and see how it worked. And it works great. Now it is still under RC control and not autonomously operating, but for right now, the system seems to be working great. I've got a bit of tuning of the autonomous system to do before I let it loose, but uh, I'll cover those in future videos. And with the mowing season really being over for this year, this is more of a project that will have effect next year in the orchard. So I'll keep you posted. Well, thanks for stopping by. If you like this, please subscribe and I'll see you on the next video.